So I would totally be wearing this. This reminds me of my Punky Brewster shoes when I had <laughs> growing up. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Nicole Friels. I am down in Asheville, North Carolina at Tops for Shoes. Today we're talking about kids' shoes. So join along. This is Amelia. She is an expert in kids' shoes. So I know there's a lot of parents out there that have a ton of questions. Um, I know you're thinking, why are you filming in Asheville? Guess what? They have an online store. So go on there. All this stuff is on there so you can order it and have it delivered straight to your door. That's right. Amelia, what we got here? So um, this is Ski Hoshi. Ski Hoshi is our number one selling brand for kids. Um, they're super soft, flexible. Uh, they are all machine washable, which oh. is a huge thing. That's amazing. Mom. So you said that they're all flexible. Why is that important for uh, a kid's shoe? So children need that flexibility for that nice fluid motion of the foot, the normal motion of a foot. Okay. Um, you don't, we don't need that old school um, first walker anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, the only caveat with that be if you have um, kids that have flat feet, really flexible flat feet, putting them in a flexible shoe is actually going to be a real big trigger for them. So you've got to control that rear foot. This is a nice solid shoe. I mean, there's a little bit of flex, but it's not bad. But this rear foot here is not really moving. So this will be really good in terms of um, kids with flat feet. Even better, a higher top. I nice. love it's machine washable. I've yes. never heard of a shoe like that because it usually rips up the material. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't. I'm not exactly sure how they make it machine washable. Um, but and they've got this long Velcro strap too, which is amazing. Super helpful. This is a great line. I mean, I'm yeah. super impressed. That one is all waterproof and it's machine washable. So if your kid wants a little bling, this is the shoe for them. This guy here is sixty bucks, just so we have some price references. Um, here, so this is boys. Yeah, this and that's boys good. and this is girls. Oh yeah. Glitz is one of the most popular girl shoes because it's got that glitter and girls love glitter. Are all these about $60? Yes, they're anywhere from $55 to $60 depending on the size range. Uh, they do go up to mostly a one. We have a couple sizes or a couple styles that go up to a five. I um, am a kid of the 80s, so I would totally be wearing this. This reminds me of my Punky Brewster shoes when I had <laughs> growing up. Um, but this is a perfect line. Highly, highly recommend. It's the first line I've actually really been blown away with in terms of kids. Because there's so many um, Saucony, New Balance, all those guys. They can have some really good ones for kids, and they can kind of have those lower hanging fruit. You're like, <clears throat> I really wouldn't recommend that one. Um, so, okay, what else we got here? So, we do have... Um, We've got Under Armour and Saucony and Asics and New Balance. New Balance tends to be one of our better brands for children that come in with mm -hmm. like um, AFOs, SMOs, or brace. Bracing, custom bracing. So this is the Rave Run. Nice. It has a medial yeah. post in it to help keep those children uh, held up. I think this will be great for a kid with flat feet, to yes. be quite honest. Um, the buildup on the interior here, which stay medial on the inside of the um, foot, is nice and there's lots of cushion here. I mean, this is a really good shoe. Oh, and this nice. is what's so helpful for the brace is that the insole comes out, oh, so yeah. we can so, we're able to get that brace in there. Also, this is extra depth. Um, a lot of parents have issues finding shoes that will fit custom orthotics, over-the-counter orthotics, bracing, things like that. So look for shoes that have this depth in here. So this is a New Balance. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. New Balance at fifty five bucks. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's such a good price point. You can't you can't beat that and get a good quality shoe. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a lot of parents that come in and they're like, "Oh, I don't want to spend fifty dollars on a shoe. I don't. I just can't do that." Well, we've got sale. And we've got clearance up here now. Yeah. Um, our clearance children's clearance used to be in the clearance department. We're just trying to make it a little bit more. Friendly for y'all. 50 bucks for a kid's shoe for say six months, three months is not bad. I mean, it really isn't. Um, Cause you know, a lot of kids especially keep talking about flat feet because it's so common. Yes. Um, when they have flat feet, it's painful for them. So if you can imagine whenever you go to run or whatnot, they feel like they're on a cushion and so, or like um, sand, you know, just mm -hmm. kind of drifting down. So it's really hard for them. So from a uh, perspective of participating in sports and things like that with their friends, 
they tend to be a little heavier because they're retreating because they're the last ones in line you know to race or whatever their friends and they just end up not wanting to participate so if your kid's not wanting to participate in sports and hang out with friends that is a red flag you need to have their feet checked for sure so fifty dollars is worth it to have your child happy i think um all right so under armor yes. under armor's hit and miss this is good okay. you guys just might must select the top line of stuff because a lot of times i see an under armor come in and i'm like it's not good yeah um when i go to the shows i do go to atlanta twice a year um I wanna go. <laughs> you should come right <laughs> you would have a lot of fun <laughs> we be there for days yeah it's, it is three days long um we go down uh, and we get to feel and touch the shoes. Now it has been a little bit different due to COVID. Yeah. Um, we didn't go last August. I didn't go in February. So I was doing all of this over a computer screen. And I will tell you everything that's in here right now, I ordered off of wow. a computer screen. Um, I went out on a limb, some things showed up and I was like, oh, that's not what I thought it was. Yeah. Um, and then other things showed up and it was better than I thought it was. These were amazing. These are, those are um, super cute too. And, and you know, this was so cute on a computer screen. I'm a little worried, but I think it's just, you know, it's just a fun play shoe. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. not meant to be a running shoe. So there was a lot of learning curve mm -hmm. this year. Um, it was definitely harder, but I feel like we're getting over that hump. We yeah. are going to Atlanta in August. I will get to actually feel and touch the shoes. So yeah. that helps when you can. Be like my dream job. Yeah. <laughs> to play with shoes all day. It um, is a lot of fun. <laughs> I see. So these are obviously um, girls, you know, run around the summer. This is, I, I like blowfish. I have blowfish shoes, but you got to be careful. This is a minimal wear, meaning I would not be standing a lot in this because um, it's super flat and there's really just not that much support. So if your kid has foot issues already, this is a shoe for them to wear when they are sitting. And any kid that sits, I would love to meet. Yes. Um, right? Yes. So kind of make it easier on them, even if they look super cute, I get it. So they've got the classic one, Strike Right, Seek High Run. Is this out of uh, Japan as well? No. Um, so the woman that came up with this brand, Heidi could probably tell you this better, um, because she actually met her hmm. when she created this brand um, in the hallway of the shoe show. Oh my gosh. Because she couldn't get into the show. Uh, they wrote out her first order on a yellow paper pad. Wow. Um, she created this brand because she couldn't find anything to fit her chunky foot son. Oh my gosh. Or her gosh. son's chunky How foot. Horrible <laughs> is I know. this? I know that's so their this first is, walker. This line is specific for kids with wider feet. And that puff, that little marshmallow fluff on top. Oh my gosh! Um, I yes, had so many patients, and <clears throat> kids, it was really beneficial. I'd never heard of this brand. It's just why I'm here. Easy. So her son's name is Kai. Oh, that is cute. So, I love it. Yes. Yes. All right, so as you can see, they've got everything that you can imagine. This is clearance here. Yes, all, I mean, tons and tons. I mean, this is even summer stuff. Yes. And we're heading into summer season, just for the viewers. Um, Camp shoes. So most times when you're at clearance, looking at clearance, it's, um, you know, the wrong season, so it's really not applicable. So it's nice to see that you have clearance shoes that are in season. Yes. Um, one I would not love in particular, again, when you're not on your feet, the kids, I don't even know how they came back in style. I see everybody wearing them. So that, that is one reason why they are on clearance because it is not a good shoe. It's a hard fit. It's super flat. Um, yeah. It just wasn't working for us as, um, as a department or as it's a It's not store. consistent with your so, brand. Yeah. Yeah. So we decided that, okay, this will be the last year that we carry these. Yeah, I like it. And they're everywhere. Yeah. They're everywhere. So. Well, if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. Um, post your kids' shoes. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I've got lots more shoe stuff coming. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.